Well, Thursday, West Jordan Representative Stephen Christiansen stepped down from his post, and part of his decision to step down was allegedly because of attacks on his family. It is a growing concern with elections now just four days away. ABC 4's Jason Wynn following this story for us tonight. And Jason, is this currently happening to any other lawmakers? Well, Glenn and Emily, sources close to the House of Representatives and the Senate say it is happening to others to keep families safe. Several of them are being helped by the Department of Public Safety. I caught up with Governor Spencer Cox a little bit ago, and he is calling on Utahns to remember the Utah way of civility. You've seen the civil unrest. Protests against mask mandates, vaccines, mail in ballots, attacks on health officials at their homes, and public officials, significant others. You know, I understand being in politics, it's a, it's a, it's a rough and tumble, it's a contact sport. Um, I, I understand that, but, but families especially should be, uh, should be off limits. West Jordan Representative Stephen Christensen is the latest to claim his family became victim to this ugly bitterness. Though, this is the same person who questioned Utah's mail in ballot system recently. In his resignation letter, Representative Christensen tells us, While I expected, unfortunately, to be personally maligned and ridiculed as a public servant, I did not expect to see individuals attack my wife as they have, nor to see the significance of the impact of those attacks on her and our family. Primarily for that reason, it has become necessary to pause. Friday, Governor Spencer Cox tells me he's calling on Utahns to remember the Utah way. Our, our message is, is just this, that, that no matter what your politics is, no matter what you believe in, um, we're, we're Utahns first, right? The Department of Public Safety is investigating threats against several elected officials and public figures because of the heated atmosphere. Look, it's okay to be passionate. It's okay to have strongly held views. We should. That's what our, our country is, is all about. Our country is also about civility, working together, finding common ground. To find that common ground, state leaders say to keep politics inside the government realm during the designated times where you can truly voice your opinions. And even the Democratic Party is weighing in, saying they unequivocally condemn attacks on families of elected officials. Former West Jordan Representative Stephen Christensen's case remains under investigation at this hour. Glenn? Thank you, Jason.